This video is for the Live Gamer HD C985 and attempts to explain simple steps for recording and listening to audio at the same time. This video tutorial is for a single PC setup and assumes the user is trying to record PC footage. This tutorial is not for connecting video game consoles to the Live Gamer HD. For this to work, all you will need are two HDMI cables, which I assume you already have as they are required for capturing the video, but they can also be used for the audio. Double check that you have one HDMI cable running from your video card to the HDMI in on the Live Gamer HD, and the other cable running from the HDMI out to your display. On the lower right hand corner of the taskbar, right click the speaker icon, select playback devices, and find Avermedia HD1. If Avermedia HD1 is present, then continue to the next step. Find your main speakers and confirm that they are set as the default device. This appears as a check mark near its icon. At this point you have regular audio, but if you record using Rec Central, you will not have audio in your videos. Navigate back to the sound icon, right click, and select Recording Devices. You are looking for stereo mix here. If it is not displayed, simply right click anywhere on a blank part of the window and select both Show Disable Devices and Show Disconnected Devices. Right click Stereo Mix and enable it. Right click Stereo Mix again, select Properties, click the Listen tab. On the drop down menu select the Avermedia HD1 and then check the Listen to this device box. Click Apply and then Exit. That's it. You should be able to record audio and hear it at the same time. The downside to this is that you'll have a slight audio delay in the videos that you record, because Stereo Mix outputs audio to the Live Gamer HD after it receives it, which is about 0.1 to 0.2 seconds of audio delay. The final step is to launch Rec Central so we can configure the audio input using either the Amateur or Pro settings. Selecting Amateur, Click the Audio Source tab and make sure it is set to HDMI. With the Pro tab, check to be sure the Audio Source Capture Device is set to HDMI. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll attempt to answer to the best of my abilities.